YouTube, what's up, man? This is Rags Money Game Action. And for this game, what we actually did was do three randoms, and you get to pick one of the randoms that you get. But if you don't like any of the three, you get one more chance to hit that random button, but that's your last choice. You have to take that team no matter what. I was able to get the Bengals. This fella decided to go ahead and try his luck with the death pick, the fourth pick, and he wound up with the Jets. Uh, I think the Bengals are probably close to a top 10 team in the game. I think the Jets have some pieces, but they're clearly not as good as the Bengals. So I definitely have a little bit better team in this game because of John Ross, A.J. Green, Tyler Eifert, some decent pieces here. Great throw here by Dalton Pass, leading that up a little bit away from the user. Tyler Boyd, I mean, this guy, I don't know if he had a terrible game. Uh, you'll see. You'll be the judge of Tyler Boyd's game. Joe Mixon is one of the better running backs in the game. Definitely fought right there for me. We get to a second and three. Go a little play action. We're looking for that man, Tyler Boyd. Throw it to him, and he coughs up the biscuit. Fumble by Boyd first drive. Sucks to fumble on the first drive, but that's what happened. Got to recover it. Got to hold him to no points or three points. No touchdowns. Can't give up touchdowns in John Madden football. That's pretty much the entire game is giving up touchdowns. Hit stick right there. William Jackson, man. I like that corner. He's got a little pop to him. So I always like players on my team that got a little pop to him. Of course, he high balls in front of my entire team. There it is, man. But like I said, this game was streamed live on my Twitch channel. Twitch.tv slash dub dot. The link is below if you want to watch all me play live. Stream of Madden, still streaming Madden, man. It's the game I love. Obviously, it's not as popular as it is certain times of the year, man, but it's really what I love to do and what I love to play. That's why I continue to stream it. Thank you guys for watching all my games. All the support for all the stuff I do is, is means a lot to me as my man Dunlap, six foot six, finesse move, savage Dunlap gets there. We get to a third and nine. Uh, once again, another goon on my D-line, Geno Atkins. Uh, and that's why the Bengals are pretty good between Lawson, Atkins, and my boy, uh, what's his name? Dunlap, just definitely a great team. I for throwing underneath, man. I th thought about playing um, Gio Bernard at tight end or playing a mix in a tight end or Gio at wide receiver. But I went just stock. Uh, with Tyler Eifert. The big body tight ends and regs really do a good job of breaking tackles, falling forward, all that stuff, man. So that's why I stayed with Eifert, especially in regs. Like a big tight end and use him like a tight end pretty much. Thread this corner route over here to A.J. Green out of Georgia. Uh, really still probably one of the more underrated players in, in the NFL. Here we go with my man Boyd after he fumbled. Drops the ball. Puts it on the ground. Somebody, he lets he allows somebody to get physical with him. And I don't like my players allowing themselves to get hit like that. And Boyd definitely got cracked right there. Third and ten. We're able to throw it underneath the Eifert air truck. Air truck. Nice little gain on a drag to Eifert. That's why I liked using him over a running back. Joe Mixon up the middle. Gets me inside the 10. First and goal inside the 10. First down, we're looking for that man. Mama, there goes that man. A.J. Green with the one-hand catch. Touchdown, man. Aggressive catch. High balls in the end zone. If you're not doing them, you just haven't played Madden 19. Uh, we get, give, Now we got to stop him again. Keep him out of the end zone. Just hold him three. He gets the ball to half, so I can't let him double dip the chip. Have to make a play on defense. This time, my boys did not get home. Almost got home. Nice little stutter step there by him to get some extra yards with this 17 character. I believe his name is Peak. I don't know who he is, but he definitely was doing a little bit of work against me. And this play, Sean Williams with the crazy swat out of nowhere, knocking the ball out of Robbie Anderson's hands. Robbie Anderson, one of those pieces that he has that, you know, has good speed, uh, definitely tall enough to play wide receiver in Madden. So Robbie Anderson's a good player. Not the ball with I give up this, oh, man, give up this corner route was just a terrible lurk by me. Bad recognition took forever for me to realize that. Next play, we knocked the ball out of his tight end's plans. Got to hold him out of the end zone right here. He's obviously in field goal range. Can't let him take the lead. Uh, so I'm starting to play a little bit of coverage down here. Uh, give him some time, but I have a lot of bodies in the, on the field. It's hard to score you know, this close to the end zone, and he fires the ball at, at my whole team and catches it with peak number 17. Man, number 17 definitely was balling for him. Scores on wham the next play. Got to score a touchdown here, and I got this guy. Named John Ross, man. If you're going to play with the Bengals, you got to utilize John Ross. First play, huh, we're going up top, man. Just cross mans everybody. Hit the post route to John Ross. 97 speed. Take it to the Baja. Run them along the sideline. Just take a little bit more time, even if it's one second for his next drive, uh, and stop him from getting points. So we take the lead right back. 14 to 10. He has, you know, 20 seconds to go. We tackle this 17 
keep him in bounds. He uses a timeout. Next play, my boy Carl Lawson gets off the block, sacks the quarterback. That'll end it right there. Second half, here we go. Stopping the run early. That's the key to defending Chip's tight end. Got to get off the field here. I'm doing pick. He's throwing so many high balls in my face. We get the sack right there by Jordan Willis. Third and 18, another high ball right in my face. High balls in my face. So yeah, it's pause, but eh. fourth down, William Jackson in a cloud flag. Gives up that first down, but touches him. That's what it's about. Finally, finally, he high balls another pass. High ball, just do it right at somebody. He was due for one of those, and I get the interception. Dump it off to Eifert here. Air truck, run somebody over. Get out of bounds. That's what Eifert does. I'm 9 for 13, almost 200 yards, playing really well. Underneath, A.J. Green making a tough catch, man. Now it's time to start working some of this clock. Hopefully get this game into the fourth quarter and hopefully punch this in for a touchdown. That'll end the game, especially this late 40-second play clock and regs. Andy Dalton getting all getting out of there. Scramble, nine-yard gain inside the 25, but we get sacked by Buster Screen. Buster Screen. Next play, Eifert high ball. We saw him truck. We saw him air truck right there up the seam. High ball to my tight end. Next play, we're just going to dump it off the mix, and we're into the fourth quarter. Stay in bounds. Run some of that clock off. Next play, we're going to go ahead... Look for the curls. Look for the corner out. Nothing there. Andy Dalton, the red rifle inside the one-yard line. Next play, we're going goal line. We're going toss. Giovanni Bernard. Joe Mixon ceiling at this. Giving me the touchdown. That'll pretty much end the game. Up 11 points with three minutes left. Now, right now, at this point, I'm just pretty much no big plays. Everybody's back. We're not going to play any hard flats. We're all cloud flats. Put it on aggressive because one thing about these situations, put your pass rush on aggressive because kids really don't have the time, especially if the time is running, to sit there and fake hike and take time in the line of scrimmage. And even if they do, they're wasting time, so it's going to you know really help you. Gets you to a fourth and long, fourth and for the game, and Carl Lawson again on aggressive, just taking over. GG's in the chat. That'll end the game, man. It was fun playing regs, fun playing with different teams, man. And that's pretty much what the key to Madden this time of year is. Have fun. Don't do the same thing. It can't just be Tyreek Hill versus Tyreek Hill. Or it can't just be the same offense and the same defense. You got to kind of find different ways to bring joy out of the game you love. And I'm going to keep playing Madden. Obviously, there's some people that are streaming other stuff. And Madden has no attention right now. And that's pretty much what it's like. When you're a Madden player, when you're a Madden content creator, it's going to get rough. It's going to be lulls. So, but for me personally, I'm not, I just love playing Madden. I really do. I don't care what time of the year it is. It's something I really enjoy. So that's the content I'm going to keep pushing. So all the support you guys give me, I really appreciate it. I'm going to keep putting out this effort for you guys, putting out this content day in and day out.